Look Outreach is underwritten by the generous support of Munter Enterprises. Family owned and operated since 1972, integrity is important as our family name is on every project. Our word is our bond. Munter Enterprises. Just build it. I don't know what to tell you. I really don't. It's Monday, it's raining out, and lo and behold, Hungry Jack is here. Now this is going to take a while to explain. Hungry Jack is going to take a while to explain why they're here, but welcome. <laughs> and I'm going to have to try to do the introductions. This is Sheik, your baby. Hello, Sheik. How are you? Good. 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 And Smoky Toenails. Thank you very much. Thanks for having us. You're welcome. And you also bought Mr. Automatron. Yes. Oh, Mr. Automaton. Okay. Automaton. <laughs> yes. Oh, I want to be Automatron. All right. Well, Automaton. well, that's close. I mean, yeah, it, it could be. <laughs> uh, anybody who's been in the area since 1997 knows that Hungry Jack is this very eclectic, interesting, talented group of artists who get together using music as a thread but obviously go off in many, many directions. Those of us that are old enough to remember Frank Zappa or the early days of Monty Python, my God, let's just, I could I can leave it at that. You understand that that melding of music and art and theater and talent and comedy is, is very unusual to find. So apparently we found it here. Yeah, <laughs> yes, yes you have. Uh, all right, Sheik, I guess I'm gonna start with you. Uh, what's going on? <laughs> Well, I, you know, at first I was in hiding um, because there was this all-night carpet ride that had to do with Princess Jasmine. And, uh, well, 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 let's go beyond that. We're actually doing a, a benefit uh, this Saturday, July 29th, at the, at the Shirt Factory in Glens Falls to uh, benefit the vet's house. Mm -hmm. And uh, we're looking to have a really good time. We have a really big show available. Well, you know what? We're going to get into the show, but I want to talk a bit about Hungry Jack, okay? Because, you know, we spent a lot of time before this interview just talking about Frank Zappa oh. and those days, right? Yes. Is, uh, what's behind Hungry Jack? Hungry Jack has been around since 97, different incarnations. Uh, we are... We've been described as if Black Sabbath, Monty Python, Zappa got Muppets. in a bus accident, yeah. Muppets got in a bus accident, and still did the show. <laughs> uh, we're kind of like uh, we're definitely we're out there, and <laughs> you're out there. You know, I'm shocked to hear you say that. You guys <laughs> look so normal. I can't. Well, really. <laughs> yes. Hello. I mean, we're like when you normal. walk down the street, do people like grab their babies and walk to the other side of the street or anything? Oh, well, well, my nose gets abused a lot. Yeah, there, there was that one time, but we don't talk about that anymore. Oh, no. we don't talk about that. Okay, all right. <laughs> uh, but you've been performing for 20 years and sort of really staying faithful to what I was saying up front, right? Yeah. Which is this just mix of theater and comedy and art and music. Right. Wow, yep. it's unbelievable. Now, um, you did decide to get together and they have an event coming up this Saturday, the 29th, at the Shirt Factory in Glens Falls. Anybody that knows the Shirt Factory knows that it's this wonderful collective of artists. You could be a painter, you could be a jeweler. Uh, they've got specialty teas, they've got art, they've got photography, they've got all kinds of interesting things in this old Shirt Factory where artists actually rent space out each month and then it's open to the public and on holiday times and stuff like that. Yeah. But they're taking over, they have a wonderful quad area in there, right? So you're mm -hmm. gonna set it up outside, gonna be a stage and whatnot? Yep, yep. There's gonna be stage, there's gonna be various uh, food vendors, there's Hot dog, eating there, hot dog eating contest. There is something for everyone at the show. Everything from uh, punk rock to burlesque to sideshow performers, trick ropers, comedy hypnosis. Uh, oh my God! Man, you were uh, saying something about a sword swallower. Yeah. Sword swallower. Lady yes. Riggy of the Shaden Freud Circus. Yes. <laughs> um, she uh, actually. I, I think she's like. Uh, I want to say there's only four people in the United States that can do two swords, and she's one of them. Yeah. So we're very honored and lucky. <laughs> <laughs> I, you know, I'm trying to figure out what's the benefit of two swords versus one. If you're going to sol swallow a sword, you're dead anyway. So what difference does it make how many swords you well, swallow? Better, better tasting. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah. I see. I, I see. I get, I get it. Higher um, diet, you know. But um, all day long, starting at 10 o'clock in the morning until about 7 o'clock, I think the only reason 7 o'clock is shut down because there's a sound ordinance probably yep. in that part of the city. Yep. But uh, really, they've got trick ropers. They've got a comic 
who probably hypnotized the whole audience, right? <laughs> yeah. Sword Swallower, uh, all kinds of, five music acts you yep, were telling yep, me yep, also. Yep. And uh, the reason for the event, by the way, is to help a very worthwhile cause right in Glens Falls, the Adirondack Vets House. Yes. Right? Uh, I told yep. these guys a story just before we, we went mm. on. Every day I would go pass by that, and I got to know the guys. You know, everybody would sit on the porch and we'd all wave to each other and whatever. And, uh, you know, that, uh, that's home is to help veterans transition, right? Right. Yeah, there it is. Well, I mean, these guys, are, these guys are coming from a war zone and it's been, we all know it's crazy in the news what, what you see, but what you don't see is what happens to them. Yeah. Yes, that's you right. You know, and when they come home, it, it's, it not, and it's an emotional impact. It's a financial impact. Everything. Sure, it could and, be physical. Uh, could be spiritual. Yeah, I'm yeah. telling you, I mean, shake these, it could be any number of things. But these guys have written a check up to and including their life to defend our freedom. And, yes. uh, and when I think more should be done to give back to them. Really, that's right. And you know, when and that's when they come doing. back, sometimes it's just being thrown into the the mix of society. That it, it, it is a traumatic thing, and and it's it's an awesome. Thing that they have a place that can help people when they when they need it when they're going through yeah. problems. Now, uh, Adirondack Vet House, by the way, will be there. Uh, it's a ten dollars suggested donation. I mean, how generous can these guys be? I mean, that's really something. So there is, you know, please show up, uh, donate something. Adirondack Vet House will be at the entrance, right? right? Yep. But they've got a couple of uh, auction items too, right? Don't you have tickets for Great Escape or yep. something like that? Yep. Yep. And then all day long, just this wonderful eclectic mix of a bunch of people who understand that real art is that cross-section between theater and humor and music. And uh, these guys are very talented musicians, by the way. That's so. the first time that's ever been used for us. Talented. Yes, I know. Talented. That's good. <laughs> hey, you know what? I got to compliment both of you guys. <laughs> Thank you. you. You talk seriously. Do you have any idea what it looks like to talk to you? Like <laughs> oh, this? oh, yeah, yeah. I, I, you know, I practice in the mirror every day. You know, do, uh, <laughs> yes. that's great. Okay, it's this Saturday, and we got a treat for you. Uh, all of Hungry Jack is here, and they're going to perform taking the show out tonight so make sure that you stick around for that well Corey it was great thank you thank you thank you for coming in and Matt same thank to you, you. Thank and you for uh, us. mr. can we just get a mr. little bit Arcanto. of him yes please just get it <laughs> That's about as calm as it's going to get. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Thank you. Thank you for having us. To see this interview again, you can head to our website, looktvonline.com. 